You're listening to The Real Short Box, a comic book podcast made for geeks by geeks. Hello, and welcome to The Real Short Box. My name's Kim. My name is Kevin. I'm Donald. And today we are discussing evil superpowered powers. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like what? Like <laughs> if you had superpowers you, you would do evil with? Yeah, like it's you have to pick a superpower based on uh what you would do bad with it. Oh, okay. So it's like a special Halloween treat. Yeah. For you. Okay, gotcha. So taking the powers of our superheroes and doing very dastardly deeds with them. Mm-hmm. Right. Or I guess you could use supervillain powers too, but yeah. I think superhero powers would be more fun. And more yeah. disturbing if you saw it happen. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's for like sure x-ray vision or something and you're using that to not only check out the the ladies but you're also (laughs) checking out the the uh the bank combinations and shit and and stealing Ah. money and yeah but i think this is all about murder right this is Uh, it isn't necessarily but it could be ways to die we can can keep the the box open on whatever let's just kill them all (laughs) let god i mean my personally are like killing people but nice uh, you killing in the name of? Do you know that? No, no, I'm just what? kidding. I know what it is. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, you scare me. Oh, or right, well, I'll <laughs> start. <laughs> yeah, start. <laughs> um, Name somebody that first you and foremost, I I'll say it once. I'll say it again. I would love Mystique's powers because I think you could do some real real life damage with uh, shape shifting abilities. Like, give me an example. Oh God! Examples. Yeah. I, it doesn't matter. Who knows? Like you. Well, any, like what would you do? Be very specific. I don't know. I oh no. Now I have to be specific. Um, See now, if I had her powers, I would go in and work somebody's shift. I would like be their boss first though, uh-huh. and I would go in and call one of the people off, and then I would go in pretending to be that person, like out of the out of the office after I've called that person off. I would shift into the worker, uh-huh. and when the boss came in, then I would tell the boss off. So that way, when that guy showed up the next day, he's fired. That's a that's boring. That's terrible. <laughs> that's awful. I would do that. I think I would like every day. go into politics and like create good havoc. I guess now, <laughs> but it's, that doesn't um, sound terrible. To I me. know it doesn't sound terrible. <laughs> You're not killing anybody. Uh, I'd probably rob a bank, like legally. Would you do it as person. Kevin? Yes. <laughs> Me. Yeah. No, I would, I would just like be the the whatever bank owner. <laughs> He'd be the bank just owner. Walk right in. Hi, I'm Mr. Bank. <laughs> I own this bank. Hi, I'm Mr. Monopoly. Look at me. I got some money. <laughs> yeah. Well, that'd be awesome if you if you morphed into Mr. Monopoly and then like rob banks. That would be brilliant. I think people just give me the money at that point. Yeah. yeah. They'd be like, here you go. Do not collect. Uh, do not pass go. Or... Here's two hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so taking it. And then you shoot them. <laughs> Yes. Two hundred dollars. Shoot him once. Here's two thousand dollars. Two thousand. Shoot him again. Here's two hundred thousand. That's all we have. Don't shoot me again. I could see that. Um, so you would just morph in and rob banks and become a politician, which is dirty in of itself. Yeah, I just think that you could create a lot of havoc being able to be whoever. And yeah. Any. That's it. Like I don't know specifically the damage I would do, but you could yeah. do a lot of damage with it. I hear you. I hear you. What about you, Kevin? What would you do? What would you? Who would? What kind of powers would you have? Green Lantern's power. Okay. The power ring. So you use your imagination. I can think of all kinds of dashly things you can do with that ring. Like, give us an example. Oh, let's see. This guy with the examples. Am I right? (laughs) If I where's that ring going, Kevin? (laughs) If I wanted to go on, you know, a crazy murder spree, you know, you can you can turn, you know, make like a green sword or, or knife or yeah, even better shrapnels just launch a bunch of shrapnels at people oh you just want to straight up murder people on the street yes oh, wow. just go 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 Shit. carnage go carnage style you know just, okay you use that green lantern ring just to god sh- damn kevin you got dark fast well you're asking me to do the dastardly things i can think of or yes if i want to rob a bank obviously that's the thing maybe create a huge hammer or, or lock it just right you know, knock. Wait, you know, another thing you could do with that ring is you could pick people up and, and drop them from high places. Yes. Oh, and just watch them splat. <laughs> yes, that's oh. true. Oh, oh my God. Man, I know some kids that I went to school with. Oh, buddy. 
Like, I don't, I don't, like, I'm sure some of them are upstanding citizens now. Sure. But, like, if back then I had that power, I would have just dropped oh, half, right. half of my grade Which for sure. Which are Green Lantern ring? Yeah. yeah. And, like, <laughs> power ring. That'd be it. Yeah. Like, the football field would be littered with them. <laughs> they go out to, it's time to play. Oh, my God. You know, they're all dead. And I'd just be, like, whistling. <laughs> yeah. <it's>, yeah. <laughs> anything else uh, with that ring? Would you do anything else? You know what? I can't think of anything else right Would, now. You wouldn't. Okay. All right. Fair what enough. What were you thinking of? I was thinking, like, maybe you could, uh, like. Uh, maybe, maybe create counterfeit cash if I want to be, like, a, you know, counterfeit. You could do that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could definitely do that. You create your own vehicles you could drive around in, too. Oh, that's, that's fun. true. Your own rocket ships and stuff. Yeah, no, you'd have a lot is of that, fun with that. Is that bad, though? That's no. not yes, bad. I'm saying. Well, if you're going to fly that into somebody's ass, sure. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Rocket right into somebody's asshole. Or even better, maybe create a bunch of clones with the ring and just have them do... Oh, you're going to make more rings. You're like a genie that wishes for more wishes. Yeah. Kind of thing, right? mm, all right. Okay, I hear you. If I had to pick one, like just offhand, and uh, I would, I would take Brother Voodoo's powers. Of course you would. And that's because I thought it was hilarious in Beetlejuice when he got his head shrunk, oh. and his body was still big, but he had the tiny head. I would go around and make a bunch of people tiny heads. Yeah. I think that would be hilarious. Okay. Like uh, to do that. Would it? Would they have to like piss you off? For you to do that, or no, you just do it? I'd just do it. Okay. Like, I would observe, obviously, and if they were a bad person, yeah. I would be bad to them. I don't know if I'd want to be bad to good people, necessarily. Right. But, like, I feel like... But we're villains. Right. Well, I feel like I could be more like a Venom, you know, like an anti-hero okay. slash villain. I could ride that gray pretty hard. Yeah. The other thing I would do is uh, voodoo doll type shit. Okay. Like, I feel like not enough people have pain. Like, for example, there's just too many goddamn people just out there freely running down the street looking like goddamn, like, Olympic gods. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, Well, yeah. For starters, I'd go to the gym, and I'd had a hell of a time there at the gym. I Just one gym, one day. I'd make so many people hitting? shit their pants oh, while, they're, while they're lifting weights. That would be amazing. If there would be a whole gym, imagine a whole gym where no, everyone has uh, shit themselves no, and they're all running to the bathroom, shitting themselves. Why are you hating? They're my running to the bathroom. Fucking nightmare. They've just pumped iron. They shit in their pants and they're running to the bathroom trying to finish why in, are you hating? In, in the bathroom. Why are you hating? They're shoving man? each other out of the way to get to the toilet. Oh, it would be amazing. It would be so gross. That is easy. I know, but I'm not cleaning it up. I just so you want walk to create, back out the door. You want to create mass constipation? No, no. Mass, mass diarrhea. diarrhea. Yes. Mass diarrhea. Yes, uh, a massive flow mm. would be we, 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 a massive flow day is what we would have there That's at frightening at Gold's Gym. So to speak. Oh, oh wow, you have like a you got a place. You got <laughs> yeah. you got people in mind. <laughs> a lot of douchebags at Gold's yeah. Gym. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's some nice people there, and you know who you're you are. Assuming you're. But there's a lot of douchebags in there too. Not as many as you think. Really? Do you go in there? You work out regularly, Kevin, at the gym. Not at Gold's Gym. I'll make you shit your pants if you do. <laughs> wow. You would not be an exception, sir. You'd be shitting yourself. I'd have you just shit yourself anywhere you went. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Your first date in, in like a while, and I'd be like, well, time to shit yourself. <laughs> I would kill you. <laughs> wow. Kevin just wow. craps himself. Wow. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. Man, oh, man. I'd get him for you. Well, thank I you. I wouldn't Kevin. allow that. <laughs> Who's your second? Well, your head shrunk. Evil what can suit. you do? <laughs> I'll fucking still fight. Who's um, your second evil power? My second evil power... Uh, who? Which one would I pick second? Like second? Okay. Uh, blood bending for sure. Okay. Uh, I think that's real evil. You can make people bend to your will, and uh, it's pretty fucked up. Uh, I don't think I'd use on it. Use it on anyone I personally like. It would definitely be towards people I did not fucking like. Um, but yeah. Mm, okay. I wow. Bloodbending, that's fucking intense, by the way. Yeah. You're going hardcore. Yeah. I mean, like, you'd make evil. people just pass out all the time, right? Like, I'd probably go, I, I'd go a little further than just pass out, maybe. Oh, they're shitting blood? 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Bloody diarrhea. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Okay. That'd be my second. So what? What? But like, differentiate that from your first. Like this one's your full on revenge mode one, right? The, like yeah, the other this one's like one, your bank robbing. Yeah. Like the hijinks. other one's like I would still be like in society creating chaos, and this one would be like you will know my face, <laughs> and you're going to be destroyed by me. You will know my name. Man, that sounds very yeah. vindictive. It's it's super evil, super dark. Lady like vindictive. That. Yeah, but I, like I, uh, I'm, I mean, if we're going, we're going for it. That's That would be my second one, is yeah. bloodbending. Okay, that's a good you one. Because you can do it to anybody at any time for any reason. But if you bloodbend, you can also waterbend. Ooh, right? yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's so, very true. So I'd if you're a waterbender. Waterbender, yeah. Oh, you but could... I'm real a, I'm really an earthbender in life. Do you remember Goonies? Yeah. You remember when like the toilets like backed up and that one kid was brand or, like wasn't brand, but it was a kid that like like mm-hmm. hurt him, grabbed mm-hmm. his hand and made him fall off the cliff. Yeah. Uh that guy, he was sitting on the toilet and the toilet backfired on him and yeah. like blew him up out of the toilet. Yeah. I feel like that would be pretty cool to that do. That would be pretty cool to do. Yeah, I feel like you know, let's say for example Kevin is in the bathroom and <laughs> he just goes date. in <laughs> on his first date. After he's he shit his pants. Really nervous. And after I've had, let him, had him shit his pants and he sits on the toilet, you water bend and push him back out onto the floor. <laughs> That's just so mean. What did you really <laughs> I tell you, you think it's some very evil acts. Wow. It is pretty funny though. <laughs> But it's very evil. It'll be pretty funny to see what the hell's going on. But it's very evil. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. You'd be like, I'm never dating again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to interrupt, everyone. Just wanted to mention real quick about a shop in Canoga Park, California called Spiro's Heroes. Elliot, the proprietor of the store, has over 300,000 books in what's called the Temple of Comics. That's Spiro Heroes in Canoga Park. Spiroshheroes.com. <laughs> All right, so we've significantly embarrassed you now uh, with with the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> so we'll go to you next. What? Uh, what? Yeah, you... What revenge? <laughs> what well, re- seg- what segues... He'd be like the power to kill the two of you sons of bitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, just, I just take a goddamn hammer to your faces. <laughs> Well, it'd be the power of Aquaman, you know, since he could, one of his abilities to control animals. Uh, well, the sea life. It's the sea life. He's not well, talking to a lion. That's not lions, but just at least the sea life. So, you know, if you happen to be on your boat, mm-hmm. I would probably do 1,000 times the damage that Jaws would do. Send every shark available to come and chop you up or whales to sit on you. Sit on me in the water? Yeah. Boy, they got to drag me clear to the bottom then or yeah. take me up on the beach. Yeah, I'm going to sit on you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hey, guy, I'm going to sit on you. Yep. <laughs> sit on you. Or, you know, a stingray. I feel like whales are like, oh, sit on you. Or a stingray. Stingray. Oh, too soon, Kevin. Yeah, too, too soon. Too soon. He means yeah. stingray. That was, like yeah. 10 years. that was like 10 years ago, yeah, though. I know, it's too ago. soon, that Kevin. Well, it's funny. I wasn't necessarily thinking about that, though. I was actually talking about Crocodile oh. Dundee, but... Oh. No, <laughs> now an eel that'd be pretty bad an eel electric does somebody, does somebody electrocute you oh, some yeah, of those yeah, eels you can. Yeah. eels are gross and disgusting and I hate them they'll now, go anywhere you know. now even better 50 jellyfish you know the jellyfish thing that's I've been sucked by a jellyfish before and yeah, it sucks did now, imagine if I said 50 no I sure didn't imagine it was, did somebody it was pee on it for you no it was small enough yeah. that I didn't have to do it you I, didn't pee in your hand and cup it and then throw it on your shoulder or okay. something. I didn't pee on it. No. All right. I pneumonia. Imagine. Yeah, something like Not that. Not pneumonia. Yeah, imagine pneumonia. fifty of them. <laughs> no, I just that used would a, suck. pneumonia. <laughs> I just used this really sick person, rubbed him on my arm, and it was all fine. Lick it. Yeah. It or even better, fun. a giant squid comes and just. Okay, but like just I'm safe. You. I'm safe on the land, though. Oh, you got some ink. Well, you ink in your What about eyes. tortoises? They're I very slow, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> your sea life sucks. <laughs> I'm going to animal man, animal man the shit out of you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on the water, which means I can I can water bend the shit out of your animals. Right. And I just make you shit your pants <laughs> in the water. Look, and it just float around there's you. Plenty you sea creature, there's plenty of sea creatures. sea creatures out there. Oh, that's I, gross. I, I, can, I, I can go through so many sea creatures. You ain't never though. getting rid of that. That'll dissipate over time. But, but I could go through so many sea creatures. Chunks though. You may not have the, the time to recover. I would be on the land and be fine. <laughs> 
Unless you're releasing the Kraken. Oh, you wouldn't want that. Mm -hmm. But he's still in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, you know, there's some uh, sea life creatures that can come to land besides turtles. That's right. Sure. There's like this seals. Fish? Seals. <laughs> seals can come out and, ha and have a good time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Walruses. Ooh. <laughs> Does imagine, it, am imagine, I the only one that thinks walruses just look like Wilford Brimley? Imagine, them, imagine getting impaled yeah. by those yeah. tusks. I feel like, again, I could still outrun it. Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a walrus for you. Diabetes. What, what if it flies? Hmm? What if it flies? Oh, we're, so you're not only now just being Aquaman, you're creating new creatures? Yeah, yes. I don't think there's a False. sea creature that flies. <laughs> I could be wrong. There's a flying though. fish. Yeah, but they don't really fly. I mean, they don't fly. No. Flying I mean, dolphins. I mean, they have like wings though, and they they yeah, pick but, up I mean, a lot of air. Were they just gonna run into you? Pretty much. <laughs> you got seawater in my eye. <laughs> ah. uh, when I was younger, I lived on a boat in the Caribbean for a hot second, and a bunch of flying fish did come in and like flip over. Fine, flying piranhas. Did you grab one and bite its head off? No, oh. I didn't. No. I didn't no. do that. Flying piranhas. You're again. You're making up. Stop. Yeah. No, it's Aquaman. Not very villain-esque. Oh. I have a good one, though. All right. What's that? The atom. The power of the atom. So I see. Oh. I, know, I know what you're thinking. You gotta shrink yourself okay. down, go into someone's body, and just create internal havoc. Yes! Ooh, I'll make you shit your pants! <laughs> that would be really evil. Going back to that. Going I'll go in there that. and punch your colon a bunch of times, and you just shat yourself. Oh. And then what I'll, what I'll love to do is I'll get in your ear canal, mm -hmm. and I'll start talking to you. Mm. So, you, nuts, so you'll think that you've lost it. You lost your mind. And right. you'll go to the doctors, and then I'll be really quiet. <laughs> I'll just hide in a little corner. Right. And then once you're out of the doctors, I'll be like, thank God we're out of there. Now let's go start some shit. Uh -huh. And then I'll have them believe in they can do anything. I'm going to give you superpowers. You just wait. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm going to grab this uh, wrench and throw it and catch it with your face. You know, uh -huh. I tell you, you're I a mean, devious man. <laughs> I feel like you'd have, to, you'd have to find like a fairly religious person for that to work. To, for voices? Well, like I, I get the voices, but like like Daredevil, he's going get in his head to think that it's a right think, a voice like, of, yeah, of like, righteousness, right? Or, to oh, think yeah. of like I Daredevil. have to follow this voice. Daredevil. That's even better than for me or yeah. the Punisher. Yeah. And I'll, okay. get, I'll get a very religious person that's really super annoying about their religion, mm -hmm. like really super annoying that mm -hmm. they push it on everybody. Mm -hmm. And then I'll make them like think that they're yeah. I'll do some fucked up shit, guys. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty evil. Yeah. See. That's a pretty evil one. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And then I'll like, like Aquaman. <laughs> like think about it though. Also, like if you were the Adam and you didn't have time to evacuate the body, and you know you could just expand inside of. Them. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that come was, out. Oof. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. That's a rough exit. Yeah. yeah. On, on everybody. Yeah. Yeah. For no, sure. you could just walk out through a certain particular area of a male anatomy no. and then expand yourself and explode that. Boom! Pop! That is devious. Gone, right? So devious. Yeah. Yeah. You could stimulate certain areas so they could just constantly orgasm. <laughs> wow. Is, that, is this all you think about? Yes! You think of shit. I fall asleep at night to this stuff. Yeah. Jarrett used to fall asleep at night on who would win in battles. I always fell asleep to who would I kill and how. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. It's normal, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I thought so. Uh, great. Um, What's your third one? My <laughs> my third one uh, is pretty, like, not, not showy, not anything. If I could just have fireballs come out of my hands and any time uh, either someone in traffic pisses me off or someone in, in real life, I like to like put my hand out and pretend there's fire from it. But if like there really was, it'd be really fun to just like, fuck you. <laughs> just That's it? Immediate. Yeah. Just explode. I right. mean, it's like my weakest one, which is why it's my third one. I'm not like, I think my other two are better. But yeah, if I could just like explode a car in front of me. Because they stopped stupid. I would do it. Okay. Just go around exploding shit. Fair enough. You're I an asshole. That. <laughs> Gone. That's what I would do. So here in California, you would not be a friend of the forests. No. No. no not I at all. Causing wildfires. There would be so many wildfires. I mean, there already are, but you right. would make it so much worse. Uh, you know, I don't I don't think I would because I, I am not particularly a huge fan of the forest. It would be in heavily populated areas where I would use it the most, I feel. Oh, okay. So you're more about population control. Mm. You'd be like, 
No. No. Oh, it okay. Would be so it's not like a race someone thing. Someone pisses checking. me off. All right. And I like you right now. I would just probably go. <laughs> <laughs> well, not if I was the atom and I shrunk down to a molecule size. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think me. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> That, that's my third one. It's okay. weak, I know, but like realistically, that's my evil power I would have. I was thinking the other day, I was sitting in the car and I did I did that to a car and I was like, you know what? I'm glad I didn't get this superpower because a lot of people would be hurt. <laughs> anyway, what's yours? What's yours, Kevin? What's your third one? Yeah, you got a third? Uh, you know, I just thought about one. Franklin Richards. What's he do? Well, one of the things he could do is play with reality itself oh that's right he creates Ooh. different realities and stuff that's fun yeah yeah and you know it's funny um because i was my my third will go well with yours so continue yeah you know i just twist someone's reality who i don't if i don't like them for some reason mm -hmm. so for example let's say i put you on a planet no sorry i put you on a planet but i put you in a um reality that drives you absolutely insane mm. where all of a sudden your head is like here and your arms are over here and your leg is over there for all of you yeah, listening, uh, he put my head on my stomach, my arms on my head, and then I forgot what my torso was in your butt. In my butt. Yep. Or at least, or, or at least, <laughs> or at least make you feel and think that that's what's happening. Uh, I think you should. They should be feet on the butt, so <laughs> you don't have to get up to walk. Like what? you could just lay on your back, and your butt would travel for you. It would like carry because his feet, you know, it would like move and shift and. You can like just go side to side much easier than having to wiggle your then your, then your legs. Your butt feet would just take you. Where, if you're laying down, your butt feet would take you wherever you need to go. So you're like a centipede. Yeah, kind of like a centipede. Oh, you got butt feet. No, oh you don't like. God. Okay, so what what if they just folded into your crack? Like people wouldn't see them until like. That's even worse. Is it? I think yeah. Well, unless you're doing a lot of butt play, I think you're all right. No, I mean like, why am I? I'm just laying down and moving. That's weird. Yeah, you're laying down. <laughs> like man, you don't have to get up. But but you still gotta move. Yeah, that's what you got the butt feet for. Okay. And just move you around. He right. said the butt feet. <laughs> he said the butt feet. I, I guess I'm imagining people feet <laughs> on your butt, and that's weirding me out. Instead of like maybe like more of like an insecty. Oh, yeah. No, I was thinking people feet. Oh, the okay. Too. You were thinking people yeah. feet. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. But like little little people's feet. No, that makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> you want big honking feet on your butt? Yes. Jesus. You want, you want jet skis or something. That's what you want. You want to be able to lay down when you go on a motorboat. Mm, over the water where Kevin's animals are trying to kill you and you're just yep. skipping over it with your butt feet. Yep. And using Franklin Richards, you know, telepathy and telekinesis just to manipulate your mind and make you an astral project. That's the thing. He does astral projection too. So. Ooh la la. Uh, I could do that with brother voodoo. Oh, well, that's right. You can. And then to really, just to finish you off, tele drums. teleport you heading towards the sun but you're on space and you're just floating towards the sun so you burn up into a crisp oh that's cool that's your fire thing no but that's like that sucks you get pissed at the person in front of you you just teleport them into the sun <laughs> yep. yep actually that would work <laughs> and the car's just floating in there and they're like ah! <laughs> I should have not been an asshole right and then it explodes <laughs> and then here's the best part I bring you back to life and make you go do through it, it again. all and do it again <laughs> Oh, like a never-ending loop? Yep. No, and make that's you remember the it. That's the fucking worst one. Now, that's then. what you call hell if there ever was any. Yeah, that's that the worst one. That is hell. That's the definition of hell right Eternal there. Eternal torment. Yeah. Just keep you going through it over and over and over and over again. You win. Thank you. On that yeah, one. Yeah. You, that should be your second one, not that's, Aquaman. That's like my relationships. That's, that's you did, I do the same thing over and over and over again. Wow. It's a personal hell. What, did, what, what are we learning? Well, perhaps you, need, <laughs> perhaps you need to take one year off. <laughs> take one year off. Go find yourself. You know, I, I, well, I've been doing plenty of that. No, I did. Uh, no, I did. Uh, I did come up with my third, which I was saying would would I think pair well with yours. Now, I was thinking originally Firestorm and what he can do, and then I thought, well, what's the Marvel equivalent of Firestorm? Like the Human Torch or Firestorm? And I was Star. thinking, no, I was thinking more like Molecule Man. That's Is right, it? Molecule. You know, that's right. I forgot about that. And then I Molecule thought, Molecule Man, would yeah, be good. because Molecule Man would pair very well with with, Firestorm. with Richards too, because while he's creating the, and I think they even talked about this in a comic recently. While he's creating these universes, uh, in like these dimensions and stuff, Molecule Man is fleshing them out. Mm -hmm. 
helping him create the species to populate it and things. And, mm. like, they're creating new worlds, which would be cool. So let's say you want to be a bad person. Mm -hmm. You would just create a whole world of, like all one type of person or something you know like for example let's say if you can have a huge pet peeve of people that only talk about themselves in the third person Ooh, yeah so we would create a planet of everyone that talks in the third person and just transport you there while you slept so you mm -hmm. wouldn't know and you'd wake up and your entire life's existence would be surrounded by people speaking in the third person okay yeah yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I, get, I get the idea. I think that's that's yeah. great. That's small great. hells, small yeah, hells. Small but for hells. me, it's also about the you know the the molecule manipulation. Right. So, for example, you're eating an ice cream cone, and suddenly it's uh you know uh, a pile of shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Full circle. <laughs> Creatively speaking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, or you know, mm -hmm. you could pr change and manipulate the molecules in somebody's body. Somebody that. That's constantly thinks that they're the be most beautiful person in the world. That's like, oh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to, you know, do this or that and post this and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they're, you know, always like taking selfies and stuff. You could, if you wanted to be evil, manipulate the molecules in their face. You got a, you got a thing against beautiful people, and huh? And change it to gnarly, like, you know, to where they're like ogre-esque. Right. Like from a fairy tale. Yeah, like, like a thousand right. pimples. Yeah, you can give them a thousand pimples. Or, likewise, you could take somebody that's always, you know, been picked on or something, and you could change that for them, but then give them something else that really fucks them up. Oh, God. And, you know? Like, <laughs> you, you got to think from an evil standpoint yeah, here. You're right, you got to make right. them think that you've, you've changed them for the better, and then something else happens. Like, mm. they realize, oh, shit. You know, like, I don't, like, I, my stomach is missing. Or, you know what I mean? Like, something stupid that right. would just fuck them up yeah or like they got a monkey brain i don't know you know something yeah. anything you could do you could make somebody bald by changing their molecules you could uh give anybody any type of disease you could met mesh them with something else let's say you want people trees Ooh, that's done gross done right you Is just put the their trunk... faces in the trees oh it's just their faces okay. or you could grow shit out of their heads well i was thinking like the the whole trunk is like people flesh you know what I'm talking about nuts Nah, <laughs> wasn't wasn't going there, uh, but you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, give, you at least give him a squirrel face. A squirrel face? A face of a squirrel. If you want, sure. Okay. You can do any of that, and then we could put them on whatever dimensional planet you create. So, uh, yes. You know, we could have some fun together what, with our what would be evil your powers. Worst dimensional planet, like your layer of hell, shall we speak? For me personally, yeah. that would like drive me nuts. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, probably just people that brag too much about themselves all the time, mm -hmm. like constantly. That would that, that would, would be our... that would be pretty terrible. Noted. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's uh, like or or the people that cut you off every time you talk. Uh, yeah. Like, cause I I speak to them sometimes on the phone for a living. And, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty terrible. Or the people that come in always angry. Like, they're always yelling at you. Yeah. Like, they're always... They don't even know you, but they have a problem with you. Just right. because their day is going bad. Right. I think there was an Onion article recently about that. It was, like, uh, saying that scientists say that uh, people having a rough day should definitely take it out on other people as it makes them feel so much better mm. or makes them a better person. I actually feel bad for people like that. I don't feel bad. Because I go, oh, your life sucks, huh? It does. Yeah, I'm sure it yeah. does. They're very unhappy people. But I don't feel bad for them because they can easily not be an asshole. Hmm. You know, Sometimes it's hard. Do. I'm sure. This is the evil episode. You're right. I don't feel... <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you don't feel bad Fuck for them. them. You're going to fucking flame ball them. Yeah, I'm going to just blow them you, up. You'll set them on fire slowly while Kevin transports them into the sun and then I change their face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. We got them. We got them. But while Kevin's doing this, he's also shitting himself. Mm -hmm. And calling his sea life friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's this little fish that eat the skin off your feet. I wonder if they eat your your uh, your oh, fecal fish. matter. Yeah, yeah fish so. do. Sure. So Why you not? just uh, you just get enough fish to just eat your constant diarrhea, and you're good. And I'm good. You just have to stay in water. 
That's true. Yeah. Or I bring the or I bring <laughs> the water only, too. He's I only bring... out of the ocean waist up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> In a constant stream of diaries. True. Oh, this is so gross. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> yes, this is this is like a five year old just <laughs> talked about what they wanted to do. Some sick fantasies. But know. that's just the way it is. That's life, that's everybody. I mean. So, I think I think we're good here. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we ought to end it before it gets worse. Yeah. If, if you enjoyed this commentary, <laughs> please subscribe to The Real Short Box. Everyone's going to leave. <laughs> rate, rate us. They're like, we're to unsubscribe. Where do we do that? You, we don't have that button. Have mercy on Suckers. us. <laughs> subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes. We're on Instagram. Kim is on there more than we are. Ooh, no. Yeah, you are. I guess I am, probably. Yeah. 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 She calls herself Insta Kim. I don't. Uh, I don't call myself that. We're on, uh, we're on LinkedIn, too, right? <laughs> probably. <laughs> Find us professionally, professionally there where you can see the career we'll never have. Um, but don't worry, we will get to 100,000 subscribers. So yeah. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, yeah, we're just two away. This is entertaining value. It's like just two away. <laughs> so please, tell your friends about us. Don't tell your family about us, but tell your friends about us. Right, keep it from your family. This is our secret. Our <laughs> secret. <laughs> anyway, my name is the Pontificator Kevin. Whoa, my, my name's Kim. <laughs> Pontificator. Stan, okay, never mind. Uh, and I'm Donald. And uh, I think uh, we'll see you someday at <laughs> the comic shop. <laughs> at the comic shop. This has been The Real Short Box. We'll see you at the comic shop. Thanks for listening. 